Hey guys! Here are some more mind-blowing facts. Number 1. Ronald McNair was asked to leave a segregated library as a child, but that library is now named after him. In 1959, a nine-year-old black child named Ronald McNair walked into a segregated library to check out a calculus book. The librarian threatened to call the police if he didn't leave. The young aspiring astronaut waited while the librarian called the police and his parents. It appears he was eventually allowed to check out the book after the officer asked the librarian why she wouldn't just give him the books. That same boy would go on to get a PhD from MIT and earn four honorary doctorates. A NASA program supported by Star Trek actress Nichelle Nichols designed to attract more people of color recruited McNair, and his dreams of becoming an astronaut came true. He was the second African-American to go to space. Sadly, one of his missions was aboard the Space Shuttle Challenger, which famously disintegrated 73 seconds after takeoff, killing its whole crew. His original burial place was Rest Lawn Memorial Park in his hometown of Lake City, South Carolina. The city moved to the city's new Ronald East McNair Memorial Park in 2004. And that's not the only site people named in his honor. The library that tried to refuse him that calculus book as a boy is now named after him as well, it's called the Ronald McNair Life History Center. Number 2. Here are some other facts about Ronald McNair. McNair was more than a hometown hero and NASA trailblazer. He was a nationally recognized laser physicist, a fifth-degree black belt in karate, the first member of the Baha'i faith to go to space, and a talented saxophonist. McNair also has a crater on the moon and a building at MIT named after him. He also has two dozen U.S. K-12 schools named after him. Number 3. A jiffy is a real measurement. If you've ever said I'll be back in a jiffy, you are actually saying, I'll be back in 10 milliseconds. A jiffy is an actual measurement of time, referring to the length of one cycle of the computer's system clock, about 10 milliseconds. When used in physics, it stands for the amount of time that it takes light to travel one centimeter. Number 4. An average 21-year-old has spent 5,000 hours playing video games. These days, by 21, you'll have also sent 250,000 emails and texts, and spent 10,000 hours in a cell phone. Number 5. Most of today's successful companies started in garages. Aside from just Apple, other huge name companies started with humble beginnings. HP, Google, and Microsoft all were started in a garage. Number 6. A man with an unusually tiny brain manages to live an entirely normal life despite his condition, which was caused by a fluid buildup in his skull. Scans of the 44-year-old man's brain showed that a huge fluid-filled chamber called a ventricle took up most of the room in his skull, leaving little more than a thin sheet of actual brain tissue. Number 7. Blind people don't always see darkness. A person who have always been blind don't see. That person don't have a sensation of sight. People who have lost their sight have different experiences. Some describe seeing complete darkness, like being in a cave. Some people see sparks or experience vivid visual hallucinations that may take the form of recognizable shapes, random shapes, and colors, or flashes of light. Number 8. There are 63 million pairs of chopsticks or 126 million single sticks manufactured in China every year. These range from mass-produced disposable chopsticks to high-quality sticks that can take up to a month to painstakingly make. Number 9. India gave the world its sweet tooth. Although sugarcane originated in Southeast Asia, it was first chemically refined about 2,500 years ago in India. Number 10. The stars and stripes make up one of the most recognizable flags of any country in the world. But did you know that the modern iteration containing 50 stars was designed for a class project by an enterprising high school student in 1958? The teenager actually anticipated the addition of Alaska and Hawaii a year later. Amazingly, the boy's unimpressed teacher gave him a B-. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe my channel. Also press the notification bell to be the first one to watch fun and cool videos like this. Thanks for watching and bye.